What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and today I'll be showing you guys the location of all the legendary animals in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Bar 1, the legendary white elk which have, we have already covered in another video, so uh, feel free to check that one out. But yeah, first off guys, we're going for the trio of the killer dogs. Now, these guys are called the corpse feeders and they are some pretty intense dudes. So for this, you need to come over into Oxfordshire and uh, you need to head to this dot over here. This is where the, the corpse feeders are located. So we're gonna head over there now and show you guys. And here you go guys, here are the corpse feeders. Now, we're not gonna try and take these guys on because they are extremely strong and we are not extremely strong, but this is the location of the corpse feeders and you can see they are very strong. Now, you can't shoot them from outside. They don't take any damage. You have to actually enter their lair which is uh, right here, and even then, they really just don't take any damage. <laughs> so we're just going to leg it out of here. But uh, yeah, that's the location of the corpse feeders. We'll show you guys on the map here. So that's where it is. Ravensthorpe is up here, so you just need to come down to Oxfordshire. But they've got a power level of um, 160, so you definitely need to be prepared when you uh, come to take these guys on. Alrighty guys, next up we have the Gamad Wolf. Now, for this one, you're going to need to come to Lincolnshire. And uh, you're going to want to pretty much get to the top of Lincolnshire. So just before it turns into Overshire, come to Lincolnshire. You'll uh, find there's a synchronization point right here. So aim for this space. If you've already got unlocked, awesome. Next up, once you're here, from the synchronization point, you want to go to the stairs that lead uh, down pretty much into a dungeon. Um, try not to take as much full damage because you're going to need as much health as you possibly can. And there's an entrance behind the old tree. Head down inside. Use your vision if you want to grow up some, bring out the torch. And uh, you'll find that there is a big old nasty wolf down here. As well as a bunch of uh, loot and stuff like that. Some opals. And if we come across through here this way. Uh, I don't really want to go through it, but we're going to do it for you guys. In through here, through this crack, is the Gurning Wolf. Now, <laughs> he's a bit of a pain in the ass because he does summon in more wolves. And uh, here we go. You can see there he is there. Now, you don't have to obviously come through that cave. It's just an easy way to get through here. But uh, yeah, now this guy will summon in more wolves to attack you while uh, he hangs behind them. So you definitely need to be a bit careful of this guy because he can dish out some serious damage. As well as all these other wolf friends that he uh, actually brings in as well. But uh, yeah, you want to try and aim for his, his weak points at first just to soften him down. But uh, eventually, once he's actually low enough health, he will start running um, around a lot. So you will need to use your bow and arrow later on down the line in order to, uh, to finish off this guy. Because otherwise, he'll just have a bunch of wolves with him constantly and uh, trying to hit this last weak spot. Can't line it up, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, he's got a power level of 220. So make sure that you've got uh, quite a bit of good gear and stuff like that and that you're pretty prepared for it and all that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, guys, this is the Gamad Wolf and uh, hopefully you guys are going to be more successful in taking him on than uh, I am at the moment because he's a very big, beefy boy. I'm going to hit him with a barrage of arrows there and that only did 81 damage. Wow, that did absolutely no damage. So, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. And you can see here, guys, that he has retreated and he's brought in his wolfy friends. So, he's gone and done his call and, uh, yeah, now he brings in wolf buddies that uh, come along and fight for him. While uh, he just stalks along at the top. So, you'll need to kill those guys in order to get him to come back into the arena. And, yeah, it's definitely annoying to, to deal with. And you can see that he's just going to run around. So, yeah, definitely come prepared to fight this guy. We're going to back off because we are nowhere near ready enough to fight him. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, guys. Next up, we have the Black Shulk. Now, the Black Shulk is honestly straight out of, like, Bloodborne. This dude is, uh, this dude is nuts. So, in order to get to him, the best way to go about doing it is to fast travel to this East Anglia, uh, synchronization point. And then you need to travel just over here. Now, you can also take your longship out through the rivers and, uh, get to him like that. It's, it's entirely up to you and how you want to do it. But uh, this guy is absolutely terrifying to fight, and yeah, you definitely need to, to kill him quickly. I mean, not really, I was just saying that, but uh, he's definitely one of the uh, stronger legendary beasts. So he's just up through here, I'm going to take our horse Time in with us, and he's feeding on the corpse. Like, look at that. Terrifying. Um, it'd be helpful if we weren't on our horse and we could actually see what was going on. But uh, yeah, 
This guy's got a power level of 160, so he's like a... <laughs> there you have it. He's a very feral, rabid beast, and uh, yeah, he's really tough. So make sure you come prepared for him, and that's the location of the Black Shulk. Alrighty, guys. Next up, we have Alfred's Battle Cattle. Now, uh, <laughs> the name says it all. They're literally battle cows. So these guys are located south of London. We'll show you real quick on the map once we just finish getting up to this way, uh, to where they are. Now, these guys are very similar to the Corpse Eaters in that they are in a trio. So you need to deal with the sow first, which is the, the female cow. Um, and you'll see in just a second here, here is the field with the Moomoos in it. So, yeah, you can see that's all of them in there. You've got to kill her first. She is your best way to beat this. Um, I'm going to show you on the map. You can see there, there we go. Alfred's battle. So, let's get up here. I'm going to show you guys on the map. So, it's just down here. London is just over here. So, you just simply need to come down here and uh, they're just here. But, uh, there is a lot of them. Make sure you deal with the female first because she's obviously the strongest one of them. And she's the actual legendary beast, not the, not the males. So, make sure you take on this guy. But this one's 250 power. And it can pretty much one-shot you. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys. Next up, we have the Beast of the Hills. Now, the Beast of the Hills is located in Skiriopshire, I guess. Yeah. Uh, easiest way to get here is from the dock travel point over here. Or if you've got uh, the synchronization point here or here, you can also travel over here. But uh, yeah, all you need to do, come inside of these ruins here. Once you're inside, you can see already the dot on the map there, it's on the right hand side. Once in, just follow them all around. And eventually you will come to where Mr. Drunk Bear is, because he's obviously a drunk bear that you have to kill, because that makes perfect sense. <laughs> um, so keep following this down and you'll see there's a little hole in the floor, go through that. And, and there the is drunk. the Beast of the Hills. And he is one very big drunk bear. Uh, this guy's probably honestly one of the easiest ones because he's drunk. So he kind of just staggers all over the place. Like, and just falls. You kind of feel sorry for him. But, uh, he's still a pretty big beast to, to be reckoned with. So make sure you come prepared. Otherwise, you're just going to get one shot like me. So, yeah, guys, that's the beast of the hills. Alrighty, guys. Next up, we have the blood swine. Now, the Blood Swine is what you'd expect, a big-ass freaking warthog piggy boy with some big old tusks. This guy's got 310 uh, attack power, so do be careful of this. He's pretty easy to kill, though. All you need to do is simply dodge most of his... Well, obviously, that's what you need to do with all of them. Just dodge his back kick attacks, and that'll allow you to get quite a few attacks in. Plus, when he goes to do his uh, ram attack, you can also capitalize on that and kill him during that. Well, not kill him, but attack him during that stage as well. Uh, like that attack there. It gives you a couple of preemptive strikes that you're allowed to get in. And uh, yeah, just the, the main one, watch out for is obviously his uh, his ball kick. So that's the one that you want to capitalize on the most on. That attack there where he charges forward. That'll allow you to get quite a couple of strikes in. And you can see we've already done a pretty decent amount of damage to him, even though we are nowhere near his power level. So guys, that's the... Oh, I didn't even show you where it is on the map. It would probably help. So the Blood Swine is located, uh, located northeast of uh, Repton in Uvershire. It's just here on the uh, coast. Now, obviously, if you've got this waypoint unlocked, you can fast travel there. If not, just fast travel to the harbor and just simply walk your way up. There is another Viking settlement here, uh, so you can get some stuff there as well from uh, Snottingham. So, yeah, guys, that's where the Blood Swine is. Let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, guys. So the next legendary beasts are the Jewel Lynxes. So these guys are found all the way in the bottom left hand corner of the map, all the way down here in uh, Hamptonshire. So you can obviously see we've gone and taken a river route and just followed the river all the way down here because they are very close to the river. There's plenty of uh, synchronization points here that you can see that you can definitely um, do on the way. But uh, yeah, fastest way if you want to do it as well and be AFK at the same time is just to follow the river, set a marker down here and then just uh, follow it down here. And you can see that we've got the blue dot there. And uh, here is the arena for him. Now, oh my gosh. Now the best way to handle this is to take out the Elder Lynx first, since that is the stronger one. So the big Papa Bear, uh, big Papa Lynx right there. Definitely try and focus him down first, because uh, the Baby Lynx is uh, not as strong as the Daddy Lynx. So you definitely want to try and, and take out the Father first. Um, but these guys are pretty tough. There's two of them, so you've got to constantly 
Look around for both of them. Make sure that you don't get hit by either of them. But uh, yeah, guys, this is the location of the Lynxes. Uh, the dual Lynxes, I guess is what you'd call them. Um, so yeah, try your best to take them out. They're very powerful, but um, they've got, I think these are one of the stronger ones with 340 power worth. So, you know, you need to obviously be prepared, as I've said previous times throughout this entire video. Let's get one shot now. Pretty much one shotted by one of these dudes. Come on, hit me, you little baby. There we go. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, guys. So, we're coming up onto the final legendary beast. Now, this one is located in Norway as well as uh, the uh, Great White Elk. And here we have the uh, Clear Blue Waters Bear. Now, uh, this guy ain't no pushover, so make sure you come prepared. And uh, he's located in Norway. I'll show you in the map. Well, here he is here. Bear of the Blue Waters. He's got the swords in his back, so he's definitely not something to be uh, to be trifled with. He's 310 ability power, sorry, power. Um, and he's located on this little island in Norway. Now, it's in the Hordefilk uh, area of the map, so in your northern section. Um, I luckily already had this uh, synchronization point activated, so we could just fast travel from there and uh, wake, make our way up here. But yeah, this is where you can find the bear of the Clear Blue Waters, I think it was called. Whoa! Just try and uh, hug his back legs. That's probably your best method to go on about beating this guy. Hugging his back legs and dodging where you can. Wow, we actually didn't take any damage. That, that is extremely surprising. You can also bring fire weapons to help you out with this guy. Because um, they will also jump through him quite a bit as well. But uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much all the legendary beasts. Now, there are two more legendary beasts. However, I'm not going to tell you where those are. Because A, they're not in England. And B, it'll be spoilers. And I don't really want to spoil it for you just in case uh, you don't enjoy spoilers. But um, they are very easy to come across in the areas that they are found in. So you've just got to keep an eye out for them when you get into those areas. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more Assassin's Creed. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.